today I have a first impressions and swatches video of the new Milani 2014 Bedazzled collection. I'm really excited about this collection. I stopped into Walgreens today and I just happened to stumble upon it and I was really excited. Um, this collection is exclusive to Walgreens and to CVS Pharmacy. So this collection comes with three matte lipsticks. It also comes with three Milani color statement nail polishes and it also comes with three gel eyeliners. Um, I did not pick up all three of the gel eyeliners because one of them was out of stock. In the display, they only have two of each item. So the third gel eyeliner was gone, there was no more, so I wasn't able to pick that one up for you guys. All right, so first I wanna talk about the new Milani Matte Lipsticks that came out. So the packaging on these is different than the original Color Statement Lipsticks. Um, these are still in a gold type packaging, but they do have a clear lid. So I think the packaging is cute, I really like it. Now these are matte um, and they are definitely different in formula than their color statement lipsticks. So I did hear that Milani was gonna come out with a permanent matte lipstick collection. I don't know if that's 100% true or not, but that is really exciting if it is. So crossing my fingers that they do. Um, I'm kind of intrigued with matte lipsticks more than I used to be because I've never really been into matte lipsticks. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches of the three Milani matte lipsticks. The first one I want to talk about is called Enchanted Topaz, and this is a warm tone nude shade. Um, I don't think this color is going to be for everybody because some people gravitate more towards those pinky nudes, and I feel like this one is very warm toned or almost like an orangey nude, if that makes sense. Um, I do like it. It is not my favorite of the three. Um, I do feel like this accentuates the fine lines in my lips a lot and I felt like I had to go over it quite a few times to kind of build it nicely. Um, it is pigmented but I felt like I just had to swipe back and forth like quite a few times to build it up. Um, so I do like the color. It's not my favorite. I do gravitate more towards pinky nudes myself but I am really into the more kind of brownie nudes um, especially now that that trend is in. But again, my main gripe about this one is it does accentuate all the um, fine lines in my lips. So I would recommend if you do pick this up that you might need to apply a lip balm underneath it and that will help kind of moisturize your lips before you put this on. So I do feel like the formula on these lipsticks is like your typical matte lipstick. They are kind of drying on the lips so applying a lip balm underneath them will really help. So I did want to do a little bit of a comparison with the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipsticks that just came out. I did do a full review on all of them, so I will link that down below in case you missed it. But I feel like the Maybelline ones have by far been my favorite matte lipstick formula. I just feel like they glide right on the lips. They're very pigmented, they're rich, they're very creamy, they don't feel drying on the lips, and I just really love them because of all those qualities. Um, I do feel like the Milani ones though are more of a typical matte lipstick so they do feel more drying on the lips. So, so I just wanted to give you that little tidbit. Um, now I did want to compare two of the colors with the, the Milani and one of the Maybelline matte lipsticks just to compare the colors because I thought maybe they were going to be similar but they're actually quite different. Um, so the one over here is the Milani Enchanted Topaz. As, as you can see it's very warm toned, kind of almost that orangey brownie nude. And then this one here is the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in Nude Embrace. And um, I feel like this is also more of a warm toned matte nude lipstick, um, but it's not quite as warm as the one from Milani. So Maybelline also has another new one that is more pinky toned, but this Milani collection only has three, so I didn't want to compare it. I just wanted to compare it with the more warm shade, um, just to give you a little comparison with those two. But those are the two. I mean, they kind of look similar, but one's a little bit more um, orangey, deeper, I guess you would say. So that's those. I do prefer the Maybelline. Like I said, by far, they have been my favorite matte lipstick formula. So, okay. So I did pick up the lipsticks at Walgreens for $4.19 each. Um, the next shade I want to talk about is called Enchanted Amethyst. This is my favorite color of the bunch. I really, really love this purple color. So again, I felt like I had to build it up just a little bit on my lips. Um, I don't feel like they go on as pigmented initially as the Maybelline Color Sensational ones do. Um, they still are very pigmented, don't get me wrong. They just took a little bit more building up than the Maybelline ones. So this is just a beautiful pinky purple shade. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's my favorite of the three in the bunch and I think it's just beautiful. I love it. So um, that one was Enchanted Amethyst. So the last 
last shade I want to talk about is the one in Enchanted Ruby. And I feel like this pulls darker in the tube than it does on the lips. Um, in the tube, it just looks like a deeper kind of wine shade. When it goes on the lips, I would describe it maybe as a rich, maybe a rich kind of raspberry color, like a deep raspberry maybe. Um, I feel like that's the way it looks on the lips. Now, um, this one was the most pigmented, but I did have to kind of build it up a little bit like I did with the other two. I wanted to give you a little comparison with the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in Divine Wine, which is the deepest one of the matte lipsticks from Maybelline. So this one right here is by Maybelline, it's called Divine Wine, and then the one up here is by Milani, and it's the Enchanted Ruby. So they are a little bit different. Um, the one by Maybelline is definitely deeper, and this one over here is more of a res. I mean, they're very close, don't get me wrong. They're very, very close in person. I feel like they look more close in person than they do on camera. I feel like this one looks a lot more red in the camera, but I definitely feel like it's a rich kind of raspberry shade on the lips or a dip, like a berry shade on the lips. I guess like a raspberry berry shade on the lips. I don't know. But um, they are a little bit similar, but definitely not dupes. So, so overall, I do like the matte lipsticks from Milani, but they're not as favorable as the ones from Maybelline. I just think those are much creamier and smoother on the lips. They have more pigment with the first swipe. So next, let's talk about the gel eyeliners. These are called the Constellation Gel Eyeliners. I got two shades, the one in Enchanted Black Opal, and then the other one I got is called Enchanted Lapis. They did have a third one, which was out of stock, and it was called Emerald, I believe. So they come in this packaging right here and they do come with a brush. So the packaging on these is quite different than your typical gel eyeliner. This is what they look like. So it's really nifty because you can actually see the gel liner through the packaging, which I really like. So they're definitely bigger than a typical gel pot. Um, so I really do like the packaging on these. They're quite different and I just like them. They come with a little tiny brush like this um, that I did use in the demo. So in the picture on the packaging, it shows that you can use this as a classic cat eye. So you can just use it as an eyeliner or you can use it for a, smold a smoldering smoky look. So they do show it like used as eyeliner up here and then down here they show it like as an eyeshadow like you can smoke it out and even apply shadow over it. So the first shade I want to talk about is the one in Enchanted Lapis. Now these do have like this glitter overspray or not even an overspray like an overlay of glitter. So the top of it is glittery and I thought it was going to be that way all the way through but it honestly is just on the top and when I swatched it you did see a little bit of glitter on the actual swatch but I feel like as you start getting through that first layer, you're not gonna really see the glitter. There might be some micro fine blue flecks of glitter, but it's not gonna be this more chunky glitter that's on the top. So I did apply this color on my upper lash line and winged it out a little bit. It glided right on the lid. It was very, very soft and smooth. I did like the brush. Um, I tend to like these type, type of brushes for gel eyeliners. Um, I feel like it's a little bit shorter. The, the bristles are a little bit shorter. And I wish the handle was just a wee bit longer. Now this doesn't have a little cap to cover it. Most of these type of brushes do, like the ones that come with the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliners. And I think the ones, and also the ones that come with the Maybelline um, Gel Eyeliners that come with a little cap for the, the brush, but this one doesn't have a cap, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I did like the brush. I thought it applied very easily to the lid. The gel eyeliner glides right on. It was very easy to work with. So on the back, it actually says a long wearing, smooth glided gel eyeliner with a shimmer over spray. Perfect for creating thin and thick lines or smoky looks. So it does, it does say that it is a overspray of glitter. So just keep that in mind because when you get over that glittery part, it's going to be more of a solid kind of base color. So this one is a like a navy blue. Um, it's pretty, but I don't really wear these navy blue shades too much. I would have preferred the emerald over the blue one just because I would rather wear green than blue. I don't wear blues a whole lot, although. I so I don't know about the lasting power just because I just applied it maybe an hour ago. I haven't been wearing it all day, um, but hopefully it's long lasting. It says it is supposed to be so. The next one is called Enchanted Black Opal. And this is just a black gel eyeliner. Um, it also has the glitter overspray, but I feel like this one, once you get through that glittery overspray, it actually looks more like a like a charcoal gray color. And it does have 
those silver glitter flecks in it. I think it's really, really pretty, actually. I love this one more than I like the blue one. I think this is a beautiful shade. See how it has that kind of glittery charcoal look to it? It's really, really pretty. I applied a tiny bit of this right along my lash line just to kind of make it more defined along the lash line um, because when I wear blue eyeliner like this, I feel like something's missing along my lash line. So I did that, but I don't think you can really see it too much um, because it's not a deep, rich black. It's more of a gray color. So um, I do really like this. I think they're really nice. Like, again, they glide right on the lids. Um, very easy to work with. I like the brush. So um, the price on those was... $5.99. So those were $5.99. So now moving on to the three color statement nail polishes. The first one I'm actually wearing today, it's called Enchanted Emerald. And this is just a really deep green. And I don't typically wear these types of colors, like these deep greens. Um, I it's funny because on my eyes I prefer a deep green versus like a blue eyeshadow and then when it comes to nail polish I actually prefer the blues over the greens. Just it, just how I am, I don't know. So again, this one's called Enchanted Emerald. It's just a really deep kind of foresty green. I think it's really pretty, a great color for the fall. So I applied one coat of the nail polish and it was pretty opaque for the most part, but as it started to dry, it was a little bit more translucent on certain areas of my nails, so I decided to go in with a second coat. I definitely feel like you do need two coats. It looks better with two coats. Um, it was pretty fast drying and overall I think it was a very nice kind of rich pigmented color, um, especially with the two coats. I just think it's nice and like one of those kind of cream formulas that I love. So the next one is called Enchanted Sapphire and this is more of a deep navy blue. It's actually deeper than a navy blue I would say. It's pretty dark. It almost looks black in the packaging. So I felt like this nail polish was a one coater. You can definitely get away with applying just one coat of this nail polish. It was very opaque on the first coat and I just left one coat on. I didn't feel the need to put a second one on for the swatches and sake of this video. So if you are in a hurry I do feel like you can get away with just applying one coat of this it's very rich opaque I really really like this one it's a very deep blue it almost looks black but this was probably my favorite of the bunch I really love that one so the last color is called enchanted garnet and this color was interesting um, so it looks kind of like a garnet color in the actual packaging. So when I applied the first application onto my nails, it was pretty sheer and it looked more a brownie ruby garnet color. Um, I wasn't really feeling it because it was kind of pulling a brown color and I just didn't really like it. Um, but then when I went in with my second coat, because you definitely need at least two coats with this color because it is more sheer on the first coat. When I went in with the second color, it did pull more of that garnet color and it was and it actually was very pretty. I think it's a great color for fall. So I do like this one as well. Uh, but I do have a lot of the other Milani color statement nail polishes in my collection and some of them are hits and misses. I do love a lot of them, but there are some that actually chip fairly quickly. So I don't know the lasting power on these. I can't really tell you because I only painted them today. Um, maybe if I wear this color throughout the week, I will list down below in the description box a little update on how they wear. But um, as far as application goes, um, the two deeper shades, like the more creamy shades, applied very nice and opaque. And then the ruby shade or the garnet shade actually needed two coats. Um, the first coat was very sheer, um, but it did, did build very nicely with the second coat. So overall, so overall, I do like this collection. I think it was fun and exciting, um, especially because there's two totally new products in here, which were the gel eyeliners and the matte lipsticks. So those I was most excited about. And of course, the nail polishes I really like for fall time. I like those deeper nails for the fall. So... That's it for this video. I hope it wasn't too long as usual. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.